We also have to talk about what's happening in China these days. And with that, Ari Zoldan is here with us right now. Founder, CEO, can I call you that? Please. Founder too, right? Yes. Quantum Networks, right here in the city. Actually, we're neighbors. We are, across the street. Tell everyone what Quantum Networks does before we start talking. So we invest in 3G and 4G technology. So we have investments in media, GPS. Anything, only, but it has to do with 3G, 4G. Correct. Okay. Correct. So you're like a little angel fund. A teeny weeny little angel Blue. fund. Yeah, but we take everything in house. So we develop our own products, we market it, we push it out there. We have a big focus in the international arena also in Africa, in Asia, and the Far East. And then do you sell them when you're done with them? We do. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you're basically out there, you're like a little incubator in a, right? Kind Correct. Of? Yeah. Um, you're going out there. Where are you seeing where are you seeing the most opportunity these days? China. Why? China. Their economy is just massive. I mean, you're talking about a five trillion dollar GDP compared to the U.S., which is 14 trillion. Um, their market is is growing. There, we were over there at some of the factories, at some of the offices. Their research and development has been, you know, off the charts. And I think that they're getting they're getting much smarter uh, when it comes to. I think what's happening is China doesn't want to be seen as an outsource dumping ground anymore for just garbage product for right, like your hair dryers. Exactly. The, you know, the lead paint that goes on my kids' toys that comes out of China. Made in China, made in China. Yeah. And I think it really sucks. And I think America's really, really got to pick up their game and realize like, hey, if we want to create jobs, we want to pick up this economy, we got to start focusing on buying in America and made in USA. Okay. But if China, I mean, it, you know, we heard numbers recently that China's growth is slowing. There's also always talk, and I'm the biggest skeptic, that the numbers are hard to believe. Mm -hmm. It's not hard to believe. There's 1.3 billion people in the country. So for every single American baby born, there's four Chinese children born. It takes approximately six business days to construct a 15-story building in China. So there is a what? mass, there is, yeah, there is a massive amount of labor out there, and the Chinese are, are smart, they're dedicated, they're focused, and they're, not, they're now looking at America and they're saying, they're saying, hey, like, we missed the boat on innovation, we missed the boat on marketing, because we've been focusing the past 30 or 40 years on just producing crap. And now they're looking at us, they're looking at Apple, and they're looking at Google as an inspiration, and they're saying, hey, we could develop products like that, and we could also market it and bring it to market. So you're saying that they're actually coming up with the ideas as opposed to, you know, we outsource to Japan, you know, the piece that goes in the correct. iPhone. Correct, correct. The, the, they're now actually realizing, like, hey, wait a second, how do I infuse sort of American innovation and American inspiration into our products right now? And the answer is, is not developing a, a Me Too product line anymore or knocking crap off. It's actually going in there and looking at a vertical and looking at an opportunity and say, hey, let's go ahead and let's develop a full product line from beginning to end, not just the